people are using ChatGPT as a therapist. I spoke to experts about whether or not this is a good or bad idea and watched as someone used it for the very first time. <laughs> ASU sophomore Katherine McInnes tested out asking ChatGPT for advice. I love that it is so precise in its wording and it doesn't have too much information in the same place. After just a quick back and forth with the chat bot, Catherine understood why people her age use AI this way. There's a lot that is riding on what you do in college. It's a lot of pressure and it's difficult to deal with. And she says sometimes even those closest to you aren't the most helpful. They might make assumptions about what you should do and they also are stressed themselves. So what does this look like? To test it out, I gave it a prompt saying, I'm feeling down today. ChatGPT then replied, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you wanna talk about what's on your mind? I'm here for you. Then I said, yes, how can I feel better? And it told me feeling down can be tough, but gave me seven ideas to lift my mood. What would you recommend to someone who's curious about trying this for themselves? I'd say it's a great tool. If you are struggling with a mental health issue, if you just want to kind of monitor your mood, see how you're how you're feeling throughout the day. University of Arizona Associate Professor Allison Huff has researched using AI for mental health and stresses there are drawbacks like privacy concerns, inconsistent responses, and using it when you should be working with a professional. There's so many differences among mental health disorders that we also have to make sure that we're not just applying um, AI across the board. Psychology professor Rick Cruz says there are guardrails built into ChatGPT for mental health, but says research has shown people can forget who or what they're talking to. People are, are right about half the time, but they're wrong about half the time in terms of knowing if it's a person or, or a bot. A bot that's just learning more and getting more powerful as we use it. In Phoenix, Adam Mincer, ABC 15, Arizona.